Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shinadar Bresco, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, you know what? Uh, today is Tuesday, August the 17th, 2021. Got a happy birthday shout out going out to Lily Bryant. And so, without further ado, here's birthday song for you. I said, hey, Lily, hey, yard at your birthday today. Why, that's a, another year done gone away. So I'm hoping you're enjoying your special day because, well, it's your uh, happy birthday day today. I said, hey, Lily, hey, yard at your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun that you made. I hope you're enjoying your special day because it's your happy birthday day today day. Today's your birthday, hey, hey. Happy birthday to you, Lily, and many, many more. Also got a shout-out for a happy anniversary to Pat and Bill. And so, without further ado, here's a anniversary song for the two of you. You've made it throughout the years With the love and the tears I believe it's so much a blessing, and I'm glad to see that you have made it through of all the times that were necessity. You've raised your kids, and they've raised theirs, so it's so happy for you. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary to the two of you. There you go. How about that, Pat and Bill? I'm hoping that'll wish you well and have a happy anniversary and many more. Alrighty, there we go. How about them Shin Show shout outs? That's right, those folks that like the Shin Show, we got Lori out of. Sorry, we've got Lot, Abaya, and Kimberly Ann. And then my favorite pokey pal, Amanda Sue Little. That's right, she keeps me on my toes. A little Amanda Sue. There we go. That's your shout outs for today. Alrighty then, let's see what else we got. Let's do a weather forecast. Weather forecast is going to be brought to you today by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Located at 2054 Campus Drive in St. Charles, Missouri. Pastored by ordained pastor John Schumer. That's right, services start at 11 a.m. on Sundays. And then we've got that hour of power prayer on Thursdays from 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Come on in. You're all welcome. It's a good place to get a hold of God because, well, he's got his ear tuned to Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Alrighty, here we go. Weather forecast. Let's see. Well, the temperature out there right now. Actually, I tell you what, uh, this the reason we're running a little behind today is because I went up there to the uh, uh, the uh, food truck uh, food truck event up there at Blanchett Park. Now I got up there just in time enough to look down at my battery and see that there wasn't going to be enough battery to hang out. So by the time I had gotten across the field and set up by the bandstand, I would have been bumming out because I wouldn't have been able to get back home. But I did hear one song, and it was a little bit about some old time rock and roll. And so, well, it was worth well worth it, so I'll be singing that one later. But anyway, temperature out there right now is 80 degrees. But we're looking at uh, temperatures are going to drop on off, of course, because, well, it does that throughout the night and evening. And the temperature is going to drop down to... Uh, nice partly cloudy skies with low temperatures of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be light and variable from the east at about 4 miles per hour. Then for Wednesday, August the 18th, 
we got intervals of clouds and sunshine. Highs around 89 degrees Fahrenheit with winds southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Few clouds from time to time overnight with low temperatures of 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south of 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then for a Thursday, August the 19th, intervals of clouds and sunshine, a stray shower or a thunderstorm is quite possible. High temperatures of 87 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south-southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies early, scattered thunderstorms developing later on at night. Low temperatures around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be light and variable south-southeast around 6 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. And then for Friday, August the 20th, Scattered thunderstorms, high temperatures around 88 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 60%. Scattered thunderstorms with low temperatures around 73 degrees Fahrenheit overnight, winds are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 60%. And then uh, Saturday, um, August the 21st. Partly cloudy skies with a stray shower or a thunderstorm quite possible. High temperatures around 91 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Few clouds with low temperatures around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then let's see. Sunday, our final day of our five-day forecast. Mostly sunny skies, highs around 90 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies overnight, with low temperatures around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds will be light and variable, east to southeast at 6 miles per hour. And that, my friends, is your 5-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, on my way back, I ran into Tyra and, uh, her bow. They were out there on their uh, front porch just uh, enjoying the weather as well as we could put it. Uh, spent a little time talking to them, enjoyed the conversation, and I'm sure uh, I enlightened them a little bit. Well, I didn't even enlighten them. They were all on board with the same place I am on the COVID vaccine. You know how that goes. COVID vaccine, yes or no? Well, I vote no. Uh, That's right. The big jab. Mm -mm. Hey, if you've had it and you got through it, you are now immune to it. So you do not need the jab. I don't care what they say. Uh, If you haven't had it and you are afraid of it, just remember, 99 point two three seven I'm sorry ninety nine point nine two three seven chance of survival of the COVID virus so doesn't it's it's not a necessity there are those who are vulnerable for it but the winter flu I mean summer flu is in effect right now anyway and uh, some of those symptoms uh, resemble the uh, COVID virus and so you might be feeling like you might have the virus only it could be just the summer flu and uh, you'll be in uh, just as good a shape uh, if you you know skip that virus shot Uh, besides that if you didn't if you have had it you're immune to it if you didn't get it why be jabbed with it Why have it infected in your body? And then secondly, get another one. Uh, Well, first off, you'll get sick from the first one. You'll enjoy that part of it. And then second off, you'll go in for your second jab and get sick again. And then not only that, that opens you up to... uh, Because this, uh, uh, the big V, has so many things in it, that it does not accomplish one certain thing. It kind of uh, opens your immune system to picking up whatever else may come along. 
And so you're looking at a booster shot in a couple of months, which in turn means it didn't do what it was supposed to do in the first place, uh, either shot, the first one or the second one. And then you're going to get another jab later on to make sure that you still do or do not catch COVID. Isn't that just a wonderful thing? It's beautiful. It's just out there for you. Don't you know? Anyway, that being said, we're going to jump on that song that I was talking about. And it'll go something like this. Just take those old records off of the shelf. I'll sit and listen to them by myself. Today's music ain't got the same soul. I like that old time of rock and roll. Uh, don't try to take me to the disco. You'll never even get me out on the floor. In ten minutes or so, I'll be late for the door. I like that old time of rock and roll. Everybody, I got that old time of rock and roll. The kind of music that soothes the soul. I reminisce about the days of old. Oh, with that old time of rock and roll. I said, I want you to hear me and hear them play. I don't want to hear them play no tango. I'd rather hear some blues and funky old soul. There's only one sure way to go. Uh, that's a start playing that old time of rock and roll. Come on, call me a rally, call me what you will. Say I'm old fashioned, say so I'm over the hill. Uh, today's music ain't uh, got the same soul. Uh, I like that old time of rock and roll. I uh, still like that old time rock and roll. The kind of music just a soothes us all. I reminisce about the days of old. I'm uh, playing that old time of rock and roll. I said the old time of rock and roll. Baby, just a soothes us all. I reminisce about the days of old, of oh, that old time of rock and roll. Everybody, come on! I got that old time of rock and roll. Baby, just a soothes us all. I reminisce about the days of old, of oh, that old time of rock and roll. I said, the old time of rock and roll. It's just the music that soothes us all. I reminisce about the days. All right, there you go. There you have it. That's that old time of rock and roll. How about that there? Okay, it looks like it's story time. We're going to do the three little pigs today. Catch them kiddos. Bring them on around the couch. It's time for TV Grandpa. That's right, TV Grandpa Shen is out here to tell you a story again. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs and not enough food to feed them. And so, when they were old enough, she sent them out into the world to seek their fortunes. Well, the first little pig was very lazy, and he didn't want to work at all, and so he built him a house of straw. Well, the second little pig, he worked a little bit harder, but he was still somewhat lazy, and too, he built his house of sticks. Then they sang and they danced and they played together and rested for the rest of the day. Now then, uh, the third little pig, yes sir, yes sir, Bob, the third little pig, where are we at? Hey, third little pig, he worked hard all day, and he built his house with bricks. That's right, bricks. It was a sturdy house, complete with a fine fireplace and chimney. It looked like it could withstand the strongest of winds. Well, the next day, a wolf happened to pass by the little piggy's house, and he was walking down the lane, and he saw the three little pigs where the three little pigs lived. And he saw the straw house, and he smelled of the piggy inside. And he thought the piggy would make a mighty fine meal. And, well, his mouth began to water. 
So he knocked on the door and he says, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pig saw that it was a wolf and he looked through that keyhole and he said back, No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And so he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. And so, again, the little wolf came in flying, chomping and chomping, trying to get the little pig, but the little pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second little pig. Well, the wolf continued down the lane, and he passed by the second house made of sticks, and he saw the house, and he smelled the pigs inside, and his mouth began to water. So... He thought about the too fine of piggy dinner, and he, that he would have, and so he knocked on the door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me in. Well, no, the two little pigs answered him back, No, 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 not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. And so the wolf showed his teeth, and he said, Then I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your house in. And so he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew the house in. And the wolf was greedy, and he tried to catch both pigs at one time, but he was too greedy, and got neither one. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but air. And the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their little hooves could carry them. Well, the wolf chased them down the lane, and he almost caught them. But they made it to the brick house, and they slammed the door closed. Well, the wolf hadn't eaten all day. So before the wolf could ca- uh, da, 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 da. so the wolf hadn't eaten all day, and he was getting rather hungry, and he was worked up a very large appetite, chasing the pigs around, and now he could smell the three of them inside, and he knew that the three little pigs would make a lovely feast, and so the wolf knocked on the door and said, "Little pigs, little pigs." Let me in. But the three little pigs saw the wolf's narrow eyes through the keyhole. So they answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs of our chinny chin chin. And so the wolf showed his teeth, and he said, Then I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your house in. Well, he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he blew, and he blew, and he blew, and he blew, and he could not blow the house in. At last, he was so out of breath that he could not huff and puff any more, and so he stopped to rest and thought a bit. But this was too much. The wolf danced about with rage and swore he would come down the chimney and eat up the little pigs for his supper. But while the, he was climbing down the chimney, and to, onto the, while he was climbing onto the roof, the little pig made a blazing fire and a, put a pot on the big fire so that it would start boiling with water. And then, just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little pigs pulled off the lid and plop in fell the wolf into the scalding hot water. So the little piggies un- put the cover right back on and they boiled up that wolf. And the three little pigs ate him for supper. So there you have it. Don't be so greedy. And don't think that you can outsmart the three little pigs. Because just because they're little pigs doesn't mean they don't have the wits about them to capture you instead. 
Alrighty, here we go. That there was today's story time with the Grandpa Shan. Alright, let's see. Let's jump right on into our Daily Bread portion of the program. The Daily Bread portion of the program today is going to be brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2021. The Bible with Briscoe 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in the Bible with Briscoe 2021 will be Psalms 97 through 99 and Romans 16. So don't forget to tune into the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for your daily reading. Alrighty, there we go. Let's see. Trusting the Bible. This is correct. You must trust the Bible and today's scriptures and support for trusting the Bible is Jeremiah 15, 15 through 21. Lord, you understand. Remember me and care for me. Avenge me on my persecutions. You are long-suffering and do not take me away. Think of how I suffered reproach for your sake. When your word came, I ate them, and they were my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. I never sat in the company of revelers, never made merry with them. I sat alone, because your hand was on me, and you had filled me up with Indigna- indignation. Why is my pain unending and my wounds grievous and incurable? You are the m- you are to me like a deceptive book, like a spring that fails. Therefore, this is what the Lord says: If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless, words, you will be my spokesman. Let these people turn you, but you must not turn to them. I will make you a wall to these people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you to rescue and save you, declares the Lord. I will save you from the hands of the wicked and deliver you from the grasps of the cruel. And there you have it. That was Jeremiah fifteen fifteen through 21. Mm, which concludes our daily bread portion of the program, which was brought to you today by The Bible with Frisco 2021. The Bible with Frisco 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. All right, my friends. Hey, that's it in a nutshell. That's a shorty. Uh, but, hey, we've got her done. We uh, are going to go ahead and let you all view it. It's all up to you now. So, anyway, this I got one more song for you, and it goes something like this. Oh, well, goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. Well, goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I said goodbye, my friends, goodbye. That's it. That's the show. All right. Hey, this here has been Shenandoah Presco saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show. As always, uh, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.